Being the last one standing is not all about your Rambo skills, it's also about getting the best laptop for Fortnite you can find. Do you think those players stepping over your dead body have 30 FPS at low settings with huge drops in frame rates and lag spikes? I don't think so. Well, they might and if they manage to kill you, that means you are a superb noob or your gaming rig sucks. I guess that's why you're here and that's good because, yes, a good gaming rig makes a huge difference especially for Fortnite. Higher frame rates will allow you to react on time, and a higher graphic setting viewing distance will allow you to spot enemies before they spot you. That's exactly why we have listed the top 5 gaming laptops for Fortnite and their key features plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all the products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You could also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, legitpick.com. Number 5. MSI GF63 As per our understanding, Fortnite, despite being an MMO first-person shooter game, isn't the most demanding title around. Instead, this battle royale survival AAA game is all about fast-paced action, making the MSI GF63 Thin One one of the best laptop choices for the game. Starting out, the Intel Core i7-9750H is an excellent processor for running Fortnite on, considering its unmatched ability to manage gaming logic, NPC, and environments with ease. The Hexacore processor exhibits an excellent single-core turbo clock speed up to 4.5 GHz, which is a reliable gaming and professional resource. When it comes to the dedicated graphics card, the MSI GF63 Thin houses the mid-range GTX 1650 Max-Q GPU. While this isn't the most powerful graphics card in the retail space, it still swears by 4GB of dedicated VRAM, qualifying it as strong enough for FPS games like Fortnite, PUBG, Civilization VI, Overwatch, Minecraft, and more. In case you want to lower down the settings for experiencing enviable frame rates, the medium 1080p presets gets you the best FPS range at 130 to 140 FPS. However, we would recommend you to persist with Ultra FHD presets unless you plan on pairing an additional display with a higher refresh rate. The 15.6 inch display is moderately accommodated for your gaming indulgences. While the IPS panel is sharp enough in terms of visual clarity, we were expecting a better refresh rate than the permissible 60Hz. This bottleneck doesn't allow you to play Fortnite at settings lower than Ultra 1080p, whilst hindering the willingness to reach higher FPS. As far as connectivity is concerned, MSI makes room for a handful of USB ports, HDMI slots, Wi-Fi AC standard, and other relevant specs. The battery, on the other hand, is a showstopper, offering up to 7 hours of standard backup. In conclusion, if you are seeking a portable notebook for your MMO gaming indulgences, especially Fortnite, the MSI GF63 Thin is the best laptop to invest in. Number 4. Acer Predator Helios 300 The 3060 RDX is on a whole different level than the 2060 RDX and the 1660 Ti or even the 3050 Ti. It's got twice as many CUDA cores and a far more clock frequency. This just means that playing at epic settings should give you at least 100 FPS, provided you got a decent CPU to keep up with it. The CPU here is the latest of the latest for gaming from Intel. Unlike previous generations, it can give the newest AMD Ryzen 7 models a run for their money. We haven't carried on any benchmarks on the laptop with the Core i7-11800H plus 3060 RTX just yet. But you can get a feel of what you'll be getting with the setup on the video above given that the only difference is the CPU which is slightly weaker than the Core i7 used on laptops. The GPU used on laptops is the same one used on desktops if we're talking about 2060, 2070, 2080 and the 30 series. As for the 2060-3060, the truth is that these are considered mid-range GPUs among their series. However, it is the highest GPU to go for if you're just playing Fortnite since you'll easily be hitting 150 FPS plus at ultra settings. As for the most graphically demanding games like COD, The Witcher, Tomb Raider, Skyrim will run just fine and easily go past 100 FPS and 200 FPS at high and medium settings respectively. If you watch the video, you can see that the setup easily goes past 150 FPS, even at ultra settings, so you're definitely going to put your 144Hz display to good use, and also, you will reduce lag and screen tearing a bit. It may not be wise to go for a 240Hz display since you won't be getting frame rates anywhere that number. The 3060RDX plus Core i7-11800H is as far as I would go just for Fortnite. I don't think it's a good idea to spend more money on powerful laptops since the increase in frame rates. Although, the increase can be very significant, they won't necessarily up your game. Number 3. ASUS TUF FX505DT ASUS is a brand that is often associated with high-quality premium gaming workstations. But what gives this brand an edge over the other competing brand is that it has come up with a decent mid-range PC line that is supposed to be top-notch when it comes to Fortnite execution. 
As a matter of fact, Asus Tough FX505 DTAH51 delivers better execution of this game and it does so at less than expected cost. There's no denying that there's some compromise when it comes to the processor and the graphics card. This model only stands apart for its showcase and the keyboard, both of which are quite classy. It comes with a 15.6-inch 1920x1080p along with IPS innovation. Not just this, this model comes with an amazing 120Hz revive rate. Getting back to the processor, this model comes with a Ryzen 5 R5 3550H, which is considered a mid-range AMD CPU. However, it should be mentioned here that this CPU is not as powerful as that of the models listed above, but it can handle Fortnite and other applications seamlessly. When you look at the graphics side of the things, this laptop comes with an NVIDIA GeForce GDX 1650. Now, it can't give you a top-of-the-line execution but can easily deliver 60fps, which should be a good standard for this price. Furthermore, it comes with 8GB RAM and 256GB SSD. This is more than enough to ensure smooth and lag-free gaming. To top it all, the battery can run for as much as 3 hours, which is considered a normal average for most gaming laptops. Number 2. Lenovo Gaming Idea Pad Now, maybe you were expecting a much cheaper laptop with an integrated GPU because you've been told several times that Fortnite can run on a toaster or a potato with an HDMI port. Someone's 10-year-old kid is playing it with this 10-year-old rig, blah blah blah. But it's all baloney. That dude's 10-year-old kid is not playing end game Fortnite where you have a huge number of players and the graphics are on another level. Those 30 FPS these people are getting will now turn to 5 FPS in the end game Fortnite which usually has 25 plus players in a fast paced moving zone. So if you want to avoid end game to feel more like you've unlocked some sort of teleporting ability, you need to get at least a mid-range dedicated GPU. Something like a 1050 GDX would be okay, but I recommend you start with a 1650 GDX for a few reasons. 1650 GDX has 2GB VRAM, this means more viewing distance at higher settings. It also has significantly more CUDA cores which means more frame rates, and it's not super expensive like a 1660 Ti or a 2060 RDX. In fact, most of the time, it costs about $50 to $80 more. 1650 GDX laptops also come with better CPUs, usually the latest from AMD or Intel. The 1650 GDX is not the best GPU for Fortnite, but it is pretty close to the popular and powerful 2060 RDX and the 1660 Ti. The truth is, anything above a 1550 Ti will get you higher frame rates at medium or high settings. Of course, I'm assuming you're also getting a CPU that can keep up with such GPUs. The people designing gaming laptops are actually gamers themselves. So, they will usually pair, say, a 1650 GDX with the appropriate CPU except in a few rare cases. Most 1650 GDX laptops come with a Core i5 10300H or 11300H or an AMD Ryzen 5 4600H or 5600H. These two are most equivalent, however, AMD Ryzen 5 CPUs are slightly faster and have more cores. We've tested a machine that's almost like this one, has the same RAM, GPU, display, storage, etc. Except that it has a CPU that's a generation older. Now that's a huge difference for the game but using an AMD Ryzen 4600H as a benchmark test so you can get a rough idea of what a Core i5-10300H will get you. If you do some browsing around, you'll find dozens of laptops with the same specs at the same price. What makes this one so special then? Well, it's not just a band, it's also about the display. In case you haven't noticed, this one has a 120Hz display which is a really great deal under $700. Unfortunately, by the time you watch this, it will probably be out of stock so you'll probably have to settle with a 60Hz display which isn't really going to affect your performance just the way things look. If you find this one out of stock, you can go ahead and pick one of the following laptops as long as you get that 1650GDX plus AMD Ryzen 5 4600H or 5600H or Core i5-9300 or 10300, you can start getting serious with the game. Number 1. Razer Blade 15 Razer hasn't switched up the design for 2021. However, it has come up with some new display choices running from 4K OLED to 1080p 300Hz. The Razer Blade 15 is a further developed gaming workstation than any time. The Blade 15 with 300Hz screen refresh rate presentation came pressing NVIDIA's RTX 2070 Max-Q, while the Blade with 4K OLED display accompanied the more dominant NVIDIA RTX 2080 Max-Q. Additionally, the 16GB RAM allows you to have a super smooth gaming experience. It runs on Intel Core i7-10875H processor with a 2.3GHz clock speed. It has a storage capacity of 512GB to store files and games offline. On the display front, the laptop comes with a 15.6-inch Full HD screen with 1920x1080p max resolution. It weighs 4.63 pounds. The Razer Blade was the preferred gaming workstation. It wasn't the most dominant and unquestionably not the most moderate. However, it was a workstation that could supplant both a gaming PC and a MacBook Pro in one gadget. 
That felt uncommon. The battery backup is for up to 6 hours and therefore is perfect for gamers. Both are costly, however, on the off chance that you love gaming and you're going to pay gobs of cash for a gaming laptop, it ought to be one that you'll adore. Will you love the Razer's Blade? We're sure you will. Fortnite is nothing less than a testament to the great use of the modern engine mixed with an amazing design. There are still plenty more choices no doubt. That being said, the laptops mentioned above are top of the line. We hope our list is able to help you make an informed and smart choice. Let us know in the comments down below which laptop you're going to choose. Thanks for watching the video and that's all for this video. If you liked this video and it helped you in any way, please give this video a like and if you don't want to miss out any future videos, subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you in the next video, till next time, see you guys later.